<laughs> okay, uh, we shall start for for the week 13. It is the middle latitude sailing. Okay, after this one, after the middle latitude sailing, it will be uh, Mercator sailing and then Great Circle sailing. So with that, let me start our present, uh, my presentation for you. Let me just add them up. Okay, middle latitude sailing. It is almost somewhat the same with the parallel sailing uh, because uh, for this one, you have to compute uh, and average your two latitudes in order for you to get the middle latitude. Okay, and these are the formula, okay, for to be used for the middle latitude. You have your P as your departure, D low as your difference of longitude. LM, which is your middle latitude, and DLAT is your difference of latitude. And again, you have your CO or your course, and D stands for distance. Uh, we cannot use D as the departure anymore. That's why we made it P. Okay. And the formula is P is equals to D low times cosine middle latitude. And uh, in, uh, in measuring distance is equals to d lat multiplied by one over cosine course. So for this one, for the middle latitude, it is almost the same as with the, as with the computing the plane sailing and parallel sailing formula because uh, with a given question or with a given uh, problems, the the things that you are going to find is about the course and distance. And while the other, if the course and distance and the latitude A and longitude A is given, you also have to find your latitude B and longitude B, which is your arrival uh, coordinates, okay? Are we good? You can screenshot and then uh, copy it in your notes or whatever, okay? So I'm going to give you an example on how to solve middle latitude. Let's start with finding course and distance, okay? For this one given is 20 degrees north, 107 degrees 30 minutes west. And your uh, arrival destination coordinates are 24 degrees 40 minutes north and 112 degrees 30 minutes west. With that, you have to uh, divide the minutes into 60 for you to get the decimal into degrees. Example, the 107 degrees, 30 minutes west, uh, just divide the 30, divide the 60 is, it will be 0.5. Okay, Ashen again, 107.5. And then B becomes 24.7 because 40, it's almost uh, 42. So divided by 60, you will get 0.7. And again, 11230 is 112.5 degrees west. Are you all on the same page, class? Yes. All right, very well. Now to find the course and distance, okay, you have to first get the LM. What is LM again? That is the middle latitude, okay? LM stands for middle latitude. So 20 degrees plus 24.67 because uh, it, it's actually 0 0.67 and not 0 0.7, or you can just put 24.7, whatever. Divided by two, you will get 22.335 degrees north. 
kindly please follow me on your scientific calculator and do the, the computation while I am discussing. So middle latitude will be 22 degrees 0.335 north. After getting the middle latitude, you have to solve for DLAT. DLAT is 24.67 minus 20 is equals to, of course, 4.67 degrees. Multiply it to 60 in order to convert it into nautical miles because one degree is equals to 60 nautical miles. You will get 280.2 nautical miles. After DLAT, you have to solve for difference of longitude. Again, uh, 112 degrees 30 minutes west minus 107 30 minutes west will be equal to only 5 degrees. Okay, 5 degrees. Multiply it to 60 to convert it into nautical miles. That will be 300 nautical miles. Now, on the first step, you have gotten the middle latitude, the difference of latitude, and then the difference of longitude. What you're looking for is the course and distance, okay? And with that, you have to use the following formula. Departure is equals to DLO times cosine middle latitude. So DLO will be your, it's 300 nautical miles times cosine middle latitude, 22.335 degrees. You will get the departure of 277.5 nautical miles. After doing so, since you have got your departure, you have, you have to solve for your course, okay? Uh, with the use of the course, you can, again, determine what is given. Again, first, you have to determine what is given so that you will know which sine or cosine or tangent you will use. And with that, if the departure and the delay is given, Okay, you will use, or we will use TOA, which is tangent is equals to opposite over adjacent. You can make the triangle in your scratch paper or in notebooks and determine it. Okay, so tangent course is 277.5 degrees divided by 280.2. It will be 0 0.9904. I hope you are with me. Shift tangent. Press shift and then tangent and then equals, it will be 44.7 degrees. You have to subtract 360 degrees because your course is northwesterly. So this can't be your true course. The 44.7 degrees can't be your true course because you, your course is actually northwesterly. Okay, with looking back on the position, look, 20 degrees north. 24, ibig sabihin, northerly, pataas ka. Look on the position A, 107, and then naging 112. Edi pakaliwa, di ba? You are westbound. With that, you are northwesterly. You are on northwesterly course. Okay? So with that understanding, gentlemen and ladies, okay, this 44.7 degrees is not your, it should be corrected. Multiply it to 360 since you are from north going north to west, okay, you will get 315.3 degrees through. This will be your course. Now, we have determined, determined the course. We have to get the distance. Distance is, again, 280.2 divided by cosine 044.7. You will get 394.2 nautical miles, okay? There's a formula. Questions? Next. Now we have to find the arrival position. Uh, first, I've taught you how to do or determine the uh, course and distance. No? For this one given is the point A, or your departure position, 34 degrees, 45, 140 east, or put it into decimal, 34.75 north, 140 east. Uh, DLAT, you have to solve for DLAT. Distance is times cosine course, it's 640 nautical miles, okay? Given is 640 times cosine 047. So uh, given is uh, the course and distance. 
Okay, 640 times cosine 047, it will be 436.5 nautical miles. Divide it to 60, you will get it into degrees, 7.27 degrees. Okay, why did we convert to degrees? Because we have to solve for latitude B. Kasi nga, arrival position yung hinahanap natin. Now, latitude A is 34.75 north plus 7.27, you will get 42. 0 0.02 as your latitude B. Simple, diba? Now, next, looking on the right side, we have the LM or the middle latitude, 34.75 plus 42.02. That is your latitude B. It's 76.77 divided to 2. You will get 38.4. You have determined your middle latitude. Okay? If the middle latitude is given, now we have to solve for departure. Distance times sine course is 640 times sine 047. You will get 468.1 nautical miles. And following the middle latitude sailing formula, P is equals to D law times cosine middle latitude. Cross, multiply, you will get D law is equals to P times one over cosine middle latitude. So with that, what is the P? It's 468.1. P and departure are the same, okay? O times 1 over cosine 38.4, okay? From the middle latitude here, 38.4. You will get a DLO of 597.3 nautical miles or divided to 60, you will get it in degrees, 9.95 degrees. Since you have got your longitude A is 140 plus 9.95 degrees, which is your difference of longitude. Okay, you will be able to determine longitude B 149.95 degrees east. Questions? None. All right. Kindly please screenshot. Okay, and I will also put this on the canvas whenever you need it. And I'm going to give you an exercise. Uh, this is your exercise one. A vessel steams 1,253 nautical miles on course 070 from latitude and longitude, etc. So course and distance is given plus your latitude and longitude. Okay, okay. you have to determine your uh, latitude B and longitude B. Okay. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing right now. And uh, no, there's one more. One more exercise. For exercise two, a vessel at latitude. And longitude is to proceed at latitude B. Okay, this one you have to determine course and distance. Okay, that's about my presentation, middle latitude sailing. Let me stop the sharing. And also the recording.